Hi, Gary Chillingworth here for Air Gunner Magazine, Shooting and Country TV. Welcome to Life at the Range. Apologies if this video is out a little bit late this week. Um, I've, I've been a little bit under the weather and I basically I sent it in to the guys in the office a bit too late. So it may be a bit late. So apologies for that. So what are we doing today? Well, today we are looking at something you may or may not have heard about, lead-free pellets. Now, I have never shot these, um, and I wanted to come to this absolutely fresh as a daisy with no real opinion either way. I've heard a few not great things about lead-free pellets, but what we're going to do is a very simple video today. All I'm going to do is I'm going to set targets out at 15 yards, 30 yards, and 40 yards. I'm going to shoot them with my HW100. We'll get a group so we can see what that is, so we can gauge what a lead pellet will do. I'm then going to fully clean the barrel. I'm even going to VFG it and remove all the lead from the barrel so that it gets a, a, a true test. Because the thing is, lead is a lubricant. As we all know, as we shoot our guns, lead builds up and it helps more lead pellets slip through. So if you've got a leaded barrel and you now put um, non-lead through, it, it's still acting on the lead. So we're going to strip all that out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot all the lead first, clean the gun, and then shoot non-lead. I'm going to re-zero the gun at each range in between shooting, and I'm going to set the parallax for that range so that there is no argument if it's, you know, error, parallax error or whatever. It's, everything's going to be set and tuned for that specific distance. Well, enough waffle for me. Let, let's just get on with some shooting and, and let's see how they go. And, you know, we can all learn together and see exactly what they do. I'm hoping they're going to be brilliant. Um, we will get into the lead band a little bit further down the line. However, if you're a member of Basque, BSA, BASA, any shooting organization you're a member of, get them to lobby parliament, write to your MP, write to anyone who is in, you know, in the powers of beat. If you're a friend of Boris Johnson, pick up the phone and say, we don't want a lead ban because there's 70 odd thousand people employed by the air gun industry. Um, it's, it's for, I think it's something like five or 10 billion a year into the economy. We don't want to have a lead ban because we all love our sport and we're all responsible. So basically hassle anyone that you know you can mps um organizations just get on with them so stop waffling gary welcome to life range please like share and subscribe um hit the bell notification and uh, and, and let's get on with it lead free pellets let's see what they do okay our first range is 15 yards with the lead pellets as you can see we're shooting an hw100 with an optisan cp 10 by 32 scope. It's zeroed in for crosshairs and the parallax is set at 15 yards. We're going to put three shots through the dot, hopefully. But then again, I've been sucking recently with the way I've been shooting, so you never know. Okay, through the same hole. It's what I'd expect from this rifle. Not what I'd expect from me. Okay, 15 yards. Okay, that was me. I sort of breathed out as I went down, but we'll put another one down because that was my stupidity. Still would have killed a 15 mil, but... That's not what I would expect. So I'm just going to put a hole to the right hand side. There you go. And I'll see if I can stick another one through that hole. We've got to be fair. There you go. I think I've got monkey pox. Right, so let's move on to the lead free and see how we go. Okay, well, we've opened the tins and they're very, very shiny. But I must admit, 
there's quite a lot of damaged pellets. I don't know if that's because they're softer. Now these are 7.5 grains, so they are slightly lighter, and I've needed to readjust zero, but not by a lot. Okay, so non-lead. Fractionally right, maybe I've zeroed it wrong, but we're going to stick with the same aim point, so we're looking at groups. That's a bad one. That looks like a good one. That looks like a good one. We'll put some close-ups of the pellets. So we're aiming at the same point, we're just looking at groups. Okay, so maybe that first one was actually a flyer because that one hit exactly where I was aiming. But I'll tell you what, we'll ignore that first shot. Okay, so we're aiming at the left hand mark or the left hand pellet strike. Okay. Did one. Right, as we've got a large hole now, what we're going to do is we're going to aim at the right hand side pellet mark. As that's a, a nicer hole to aim at. There are other uh, dead one. There are other lead-free pellets. Uh, apparently, the H and N greens are very good, but they ricochet. Apparently. So just talk amongst yourselves. Okay, we're going to go at the top right hand pellet mark. Let's go at that top right hand pellet mark. So let's go at the same one again. Okay, so we're going for the, if you see the far right hand pellet mark, I'm going to the one just to the left of that. Okay, so they're starting to group a bit. All right, tell you what, we're trying to be fair. We will put another mark slightly below and then we'll shoot on. Right, I'm gonna give that a couple of clicks left. That's right. <laughs> Maybe they take a little bit to lead in even though they're not lead. Good one. All right, so what we're going to do is the first mark we put through, see how many I'm having to throw away. We're aiming for that mark on the left and low. That's a good one. Uh, 
How do I fly? I think you can draw your own conclusions. Push it out to 30 yards. No. Yeah, let's push it out to 30 yards and see how we go. Okay, 30 yards. Lead pellets. Re zeroed. Through the same hole. This is a truly amazing rifle. <laughs> Saying that, you know this one's going to go up and try it out. Well, look at that. Three shots literally through the same hole. Okay, so now let's move on to the non-lead. We go. Okay, so non-lead, 30 yards. Okay, I am right. Through the groups, there was no way you would hunt with a pellet like that. Can't be sure of a clean kill. I've got no doubt that the manufacturers, H&N, JSB, BSA, all the top pellet manufacturers in the country are working night and day to make sure that we have pellets to feed these wonderful pieces of machinery. At the moment, just want to shoot in your garden, tin cans, targets, things like that, that they will work. But for target shooting, precision target shooting, for shooting quarry, at the moment, unless I'm doing something drastically wrong, um, I can't get the accuracy, the consistency that I would need for be a target sure. shooter. Um, I'll be honest with you, I wish I had some, uh, some lube here, some uh, pellet lube. Um, I wonder if pellet lube would actually help. Um, with it traveling down the barrel, entirely sure. Let me know, this is genuine, a genuine request. If any of you are getting good accuracy with a non-lead pellet, can you let me know what that lead pellet is and we'll get some and we'll give it a try. Um, I, was, I was genuinely hoping that these were gonna be you know, consistent, but, well, there you go. You know, you pay your money, you take your choice, you try. Um, I've got no doubt that all the companies are going to fix this. 
if the lead band does come in. Um, but that's why it's so important. Get onto your manufacturer, get onto your organisations and ask them to, to please yeah, badge your parliament. We, we don't want to lose lead. Um, as ever, take care of each other, look after yourselves, shoot straight and let's come up with a better idea than non-lead pellets. Ta-da. <laughs>